There you go. They wanna Matilda. steal Ooh. a kill and bounce out. I'm gonna chase you, or maybe I'm just gonna back away with a guiding win. So it is going to be the export jungler for a jungler that's known for an assassin. He's on season 14. Is it going to be the cavalry TLID? Or is it going to be the white tigers in Avos glory? Here we go. Here we go. The blue derby as two of these teams are still fishing and seeking their first victory, their first win in this MPL ID stage. Tim, look at ID, of course, with their rookies. Will they be able to deliver? Look at that clear. The Jawhead assisting with the clear, almost soloing the orange buff with that uh, with the missiles. And in the mid lane, you can see a Heskill, the more flashy, more aggressive player. That also means that you're more susceptible to getting picked off, to getting a play made on you. And look at this. Dreams is still going around with Fluffy here. I wonder what the emblems are looking like. And on cue by Indie Home here, looking at the Jawhead, going with the Firmness and the Wilderness Blessing. So, no cheese emblem strats like going for uh, the Season Hunter to try and steal some camps away. But aside from that, that's gonna be a weapon mastery for the Herod as well with the Inspire. So, Brands is playing for the late game. And look at this rotation for both teams, kind of avoiding going up against each other. But that kind of favors Annabelle, I feel like. Being the assassin, he wants to try and get the power spike first and then have space to make plays happen. Okay, Dreams getting poked down a little bit by Fabian. So both teams, so far there's not much skirmishes. There's not much bout here in the first two minutes, but Annabelle's gonna change that. Oh, Quachano with the channel kill as well towards Fabian. But Fabian oh. hitches a ride with the guiding win. He'll be okay. And Witty goes out and he will be fine. Super aggressive. Right from the get-go in the early game, that's what you have to do as a jungler in Hayabusa. But let me remind you once again but that Zaz so far, this day, has racked up 0% win rate from Rebellion Esports. So let's see though, is he a skill where he's going to be able to change that? And on the gold lane side, it's Brands up against Erwin Shiki. So a lot of new against old matchups happening here, especially for Team Liquid. That's definitely a big factor, but Fabian Ooh. doesn't seem phased with that situation. He knows that the x has fighting prowess, but Annabelle is on the hunt. Look oh, at Arando. Oh, Flicker onwards towards Dreams. He will be dead. First blood for Winnie, the rookie comes in. And now Fabian with the last insanity and the retribution connects as well. Fluffy will go out and he will be okay. But the turtle and also Dreams conceded to the hugging arms of Team Liquid ID. What a way to show your potential. Right from the get-go, TLID, their new lineup is making noise in the first objective battle. Meanwhile, Aaron Shiki actually winning the lane, also against Brands. Meanwhile, talent prediction, we're apparently the only guy that voted for TLID is Lim Kocho. Lim Kocho. Lim Kocho does not go with the flow ever. <laughs> Lim Kachao. Let's see how this plays out though, because for now, Team Liquid does have a better grasp. They have more dynamic ways to engage. But you have to remember that late game high loss, or at least mid game high loss, is where it gets quite difficult to try and deal with. Especially with the Herit and Vexana. These are all great picks that really spike up hard in the mid game. Same thing can be said for Annabelle on the Hayabusa as well. Oh, here they go. Circling Eagle with the Fafafian as well jumping in. The Quad Shadow is there. Annabelle gets the kill towards Winnie. Oh, she is still jumping in. Brands in the middle of it all oh. will be okay. Fafian, no? We'll take Brands down and clock him. Trades one back, two for two. As Evos Glory, it seems like they're able to tip the scales. And that's Brands taking out, taken out by Team Liquid in exchange for uh, for Favian. So jungler for gold laner. It's a great investment for the late game. But looking at Evos, they still have the edge when it comes to pushing here. They're just not really rotating and picking their fights as reliably as they should be. Right? They are in the right place faster than Team Liquid, but they're not the ones engaging the fights. Team Liquid is just trying to outdo them in that department because they do have more tools, right? The Circling Eagle, yep. they have the Spear of Misery, they have the Onward Earth Shadow Combo, and even the Last Insanity. So Team Liquid can be a lot more elusive here in their approach to the fight. Evos are just relying purely on having better execution. Okay, so not gonna be caught up with the missiles, and so far, Woody. 
He's been very dynamic with the uses of the circling or the guiding wind, not just only for offense, for defense, but for rotation Whoa. also. I mean, all the trips. Ejector towards Iran. He's stuck in the rock in a hard place, and he will go down the glorious pathway against the pathway. But Annabelle will be able to steal from the clutches of Team Look at ID. Oh. Here comes the last insanity, but not enough to take down Fluffy. The glowing one takes down, and Ooh. Fluffy will be okay. Team Liquid ID, they lose the turtle and also the member that has to go down, which is Iran. The name's Fluffy, but he's tanky as hell, man, with the Revitalize as well. So actually, if he didn't pop the Revitalize, he would have go down. And now Evos has to lead, and also one turret secured in the top lane. Great hit by Evos, man. The combo here, the draw head oh, engaged what? into the stun of Annabelle, getting jumped on immediately by Witty. Uh-uh, the misrecent as well as the circling eagle. Oh, 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 oh. Annabelle jukes around, <laughs> and he will be okay. As the shadow kill will save him instead. The, the shadow kill to circling eagle combo there, that was weird. On the bottom side, look at the pressure by Evos here, going straight for the turrets. They know the mid game is the power spike, and looking at the items right here. The Glowing Wand for the Vexana, the Starlium side for Brands on the Harith as well. They have got a lot of burst damage and they are absolutely willing to use it. That combo earlier, as I was saying, is just so so lethal. You get hit by the Asobo Force, you get ejected backwards into the full combo of the Vexana. The Eternal Guard, the Terrify, the Cursed Blast as well. So the pickup potential for Evos right here is really insane. And that's really before even factoring in the fact that the Hylas Earlier on from Fluffy, we're just running straight at the backline, and Team Liquid had no answer. Yep. I feel like so far the experience just speaks for Eva's glory. <laughs> so far, TLID has been losing on the macro game, losing two turrets, and even when they secured the neutral objective, the first one, there's really not much of a conversion for TLID. Meanwhile, Eva's when they won it, they were able to get a kill and also a turret. So yeah, TLID still has a lot of chance to prove themselves on their macro department. Ooh, look at Dreams. Fluffy is okay. Dreams! Ejector! And Aran says goodbye as Annabelle, Annabelle rather, jumps into him. But Fabia now will tank all the damage needed as the Eternal Guard will knock the players of TLID to such low HPs. And the turtle now in place. Dreams being caught oh. in that oh. last insanity. He will be oh. okay. Annabelle, the Quad Shadow saves him! Oh. And he goes back! My goodness me, he is Annabelle Houdini! <laughs> Just joking around, tap dancing with the players of Team Look at ID. Magical is right. He is like Houdini. Goes in, goes out, gets the turtle, and bounces out. Bye bye. Let me take the gold. You see the pressure here by Evo's Team Liquid. They're trying to find ways to kind of match it out. They even went for that last insanity play so early on to try and get some more control, get some more ground in the neutral objective fight. And they were unable to do so. Annabelle. Just too slippery on that Hayabusa. You're seeing the invulnerability is proved to be such a big weapon, especially against a team that requires the big skills, the big burst damage to land. How do you even get Anaphil? Unless you get a good stun on towards, or like from Iran? I don't really think it's gonna be possible, all right? He's just too slippery with it, man. Even getting, you know, stunned to the wall for a solid one second. Doesn't stop this ninja to do work. So far, Fabian doesn't really have a Ooh. lot of pressure. And also not much of a damage from TLID, I gotta say. Yeah. Annabelle with the you know, Hayabusa does have that added. Whoa! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. But Annabelle has to pop the shadow kill defensively this time. Not being able to get the kill, he will pop okay. back the quad shadow. And he will be expended off that ultimate that might prove to be crucial in the coming minutes. That's a solo play with no follow-up. I guess the cooldown isn't that long, but no ultimates were used by Team Liquid as well. Maybe Anvil was trying to bait something out right there, making that solo move. It was very, very risky, man, considering that he is snowballing out of control. Looking at Team Liquid, they're just grouping up together. And they are definitely aware of the dangers of this jawhead at this point. It's been, it's been the main engagement for Evos what, for the past three massive fights, and it's paid off every single time. Yeah, and for the past 1,265 days, wow. TLID has been playing with Kabuki on that gold lane. He was consistent until this season in week number one. Really, a lot of errors from the man that was, you know, known to be one of the best mechanically sound player gold laner in MPL Indonesia. Meanwhile, Fabian 
the front line. Oh, oh, they will jump in, and so much damage given to Gringo in the back line, and Aaron Chicky misses oh. this peer of destruction. Annabelle will jump forward alongside with Brand, and they do they do get the kills needed. Oh, the flicker forward, Witty tries to eye out Annabelle, just moving back towards the top lane as Witty now has to turn on his speed and run away. The spidey sense from Annabelle, man. He knows something's gonna come if he stays or recalls on that, but we've seen this before in one of, in one of his streams, actually. The instinct. <laughs> That's a respectable attempt by uh, Witty to try and secure the kill onto Annabelle, and he even went back in with that sliver of HP. With the Lord secured right here, you see a bit of a gold swing for Team Liquid due to the pushing that Aaron Shiki was able to do on the Moskov, but now Evos can very easily equalize that. Team Liquid has to group as five. They don't really operate well 1v1, so they can't really win out against Evos when it comes to the pushing of multiple lanes at the same time. And you're seeing them control the waves really, really well. Going for the control in the jungle first to ensure that they can spring traps for Team Liquid ID. Definitely want to defend this one, and gotta say they do have a lot of weight clear here. But Fluffy, no man's land so far with Glorious Pathway. He does get stuck in the middle of the fight. Witty no going way. low, but Fluffy still survives and Reeves ejects a run into the back line, but he does misses it. And now the quad shadow with the shadow kill as well by Annabelle, catching the kill oh. and a double kill for Annabelle. Dreams able to run away from the mine eater, and he will be okay, especially with that immortality as well. And the EVOS, they go out with losing Brands and Clockon in the process, but is it worth it? I think losing all the turrets, except for the mid turret, definitely is a tough blow for Team Liquid. They require the safety of the turrets, man, and the vision to ensure that EVOS with their pick-up strat with the Jawhead, with the Hayabusa, can kind of be kept under control. Now with Brands picking up the Holy Crystal as well, when it comes to pick-off, man, EVOS has got it. Anyone that gets jumped on by Evos will be taken out, I believe. So I think Fabian is the best candidate for the job. Whereas for Team Liquid, you saw what happened, man. They poured everything they could into Fluffy and he just walked out. That's the horse for you. Yeah, horse reaction. Fluffy, not flying on that situation. It really speaks about how low of a damage TLID composition has in this phase of a game. And even when they're banking on Aaron Shiki's spears to be able to burst down the horse. Fluffy actually bought a blade armor, so he knows what the threat is. He knows that he has to kind of, you know, deny some of the damage from the Moskov. And now 2k gold lead, I gotta say, after that Lord, it's not much of a difference, I guess. Not much of a conversion from Evos from that Lord, at least in the gold department. Arando. Oh, he will get stuck. Oh, with that... Deadly grasp, he will be okay. Dreams Ooh. looking for a flank angle in the bush. No. He see it sits underneath and waits. Not being able to get an angle to maybe catch Yeskiel slipping. But I don't think he will function anytime soon. The Lord is getting taken down, corroded. Fluffy pops the glorious pathway. Oh. And there it goes. Oh, Dreams, Yeskiel. Oh. He's still able to flicker away and he will be just fine. Oh my goodness, Fluffy gets taken down. Fabian, he gets the Lord with the retribution. Now connects now Aaron Chicky having to jump forward. The spear of destruction, he jumps forward, teleports into it, but he will be just okay. As Evos glory, they choose to disengage, having to lose Fluffy in the process. This team is young and hungry. A lot of risk, a lot of gambles, but at the end of the day, they won. Meanwhile, the Anafil trying to get something there with the quad shadow, but didn't manage to do so. Oh man, Fabian with the red tree over Annaville. Someone that's not only new in MPL Indonesia season 14 anymore. He is already one of the, the better junglers of MPL. They're not really feeling any pressure by now. Team Liquid they did a great job withstanding the early mid-game aggression from Team Evos, and now they have a chance to try and bring this all the way to the late game. And with the Lord, they do have good team fighting potential too. Keep your eyes on to Witty. He might go for a big engagement right here. Yeah. And otherwise, you see Aaron Shiki trying his best to try and deal damage to the turrets. But he has to be careful. Just in case Dreams or Clockwood makes a crazy play once more. Uh, they'll try to most likely just topple down the turret standing. The Lord 
marches up top, and there goes the glorious pathway, but Fluffy unable to yet find an angle. Fabian dropped down to low HP, losing his Viraga armor, still has the immortality, so he will be just fine as Evos. They are able to at least scamper away the players of Team Liquid ID. The gold swing from 2k for the White Tigers. This time around, Cavalry snatches it. And a 1k audience prediction. Evos definitely winning it with 61 compared to 39%. They definitely still have a good amount of damage available in the late game. Remember, Brands has the weapon mastery. Fluffy though goes in. The glorious pathway won't be able to connect. And now Fabian jumps with the last insanity. But will it pop to anyone? It won't as Annabelle pops the shadow kill. Not able to oh! get off. Oh, he does get out of Chicky. And the backline access is there for Annabelle. Will he be able to fish for more dreams? Chasing and leading the charge with the unstoppable force, but the players of Team Worker ID, they dissuade themselves and disengage. It was a solid two health bars from Aaron Shiki, but somehow that passive man, five stacks of Sky Piercer, actually doing work in the late game. Let's see the replay though by Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6. Fabian trying to make a way with that last, last insanity, but Annabelle just picking apart the weakness of TLID composition. Ooh, the final few slashes from the shadow kill gets him right on top of Aaron Shiki and you can see the adjustment. He was running with the rose gold meteor earlier, concerned about brands and Glocken, but now he goes for the win of nature. He understands that even if he positions well, Annabelle on the Hayabusa can threaten him still. Looking at the setup though, you can see that Dreams operating solo right here, possibly waiting for a chance to punish Aaron Shiki. Without the Purify available. Oh, going for it. <laughs> oh, the bottom. Aaron Shiki will be the target of operation for Evos Glory, and he will be able to abyss walk his way back towards the turret. Now, all eyes on the Lord. Who will get this clash? And now Aaron Shiki knows some of the game plan from Evos Glory. From now on, he's much. Gonna be much more careful in the far lane meanwhile the fluffy oh, oh green to the ejector run able to flicker away and oh. there goes the knock up with the eternal guard now fluffy getting taken down Aaron Chicky will just dash out the damage from behind dreams will be taken down by Fabian to double kill for him and the rookie now chases his meal for tonight and witty oh. with the circling eagle will pop Glockton deleted from the hands of Evos Glory Annabelle having thrown away with the quad shadow now Aaron Chicky just cracks open the base like a cold can of drink. And oh, Team Liquid ID will be looking for the end. The crystal under the siege of the Team Liquid players Whoa. now. The c crystal in the hands of Aaron Chicky. With the Zaman Force popped up as well, Bronze will be able to dissuade the players of Team Liquid ID. The Shadow Kill by Annabelle, but the crystal still falls. The cavalry charges forward and the White Tigers. They falter. Oh man, seems like the story of the season is rebuilt. A revamp of a team. You can see the happiness. You can see how bright they are after winning that game. Iran and Fabian certainly quite happy with the way they ended the game.